beer, beer, beers, and gastronomy. Okay, welcome. I am Hilaire. I came uh, especially from Belgium to uh, introduce you guys to uh, my dada, as I like to call it. I uh, own my own restaurant, the only gastronomical restaurant in Belgium that doesn't serve any wine. We just serve Belgian beers. And that's basically what I'm going to talk about right now. It's uh, beer astronomy. We are trying to create a new dimension in gastronomy by putting beer into it, beer astronomy. What we've got here is a nice range of Belgian beers. We've got the Taras Bulba, which is a lovely, lovely uh, ale from uh, Brussels. We've got Wolf Acht, which comes from Aarschot, region Leuven. And then we've got Gouden Carolus from uh, Het Anker in Mechelen. Nice brewery. Well, first one up is the Brasserie de la Seine, Taras Bulba, which is a fantastic beer. They, those guys created an ale with low uh, alcohol percentage and a high, high flavor. So they got a very nice hoppy ale with only four and a half percent of alcohol. It's gonna blend in super with nice creamy dishes, dishes which, where you use cheese, where you use cream. It's just lovely because, because it, it's gonna rinse your palate and this gives a, an extra dimension to your, uh, to your dish. We're gonna start with a really classical uh, Belgian uh, dish, which is ham rolls with chicory but we're gonna spice it up a little bit with some curry and we're gonna use uh, some boiled eggs on it. Just make a nice oven plate, just put it in the middle of the table. So super dish, super beer. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this nice chicory, we chop it, we'll bake it in a, in a pan and we'll uh, brush it off with a little bit of orange juice just to take the, the bitterness out of it. Then we're gonna uh, use some dried ham, which we're gonna uh, make crispy in the oven. We got some nice fresh ham, baked, cooked ham, which we're gonna use with the uh, uh, chicory. We're gonna make a cheese sauce and we're gonna cook some eggs. We have a, an extra flavor in the dish, curry powder to top it off. So the, the chicory we're using is a real, real nice Belgian vegetable, really cultivated in Belgium. And you can use it any way you want. You can chop it up and use it fresh in the salad. You can cook it with the ham, you can bake it in the in a pan just with some butter. Put some really nice extra flavor to your dish. We're gonna take our dried ham. Next thing, dried ham. Just put it on the oven plate. We're gonna put it in the oven for about uh, on 190 degrees for let's say 10, 15 minutes just to make it nice and crispy. Eggs are on. Now we're gonna start chopping chicory. Important thing about chicory is to know that we got this little heart and that's the real bitterness of the chicory. So when you just slice it in half, you cut out the heart. And that's the real bitterness that we just throw away. And then we're gonna just chop it up. So what we need is a nice pan. We're gonna use a little bit of butter, not too much. So we take our, uh, we got our chopped uh, chicory, we've got our melted butter. Don't let it turn brown because then we will be, uh, be coloring the chicory and we won't want that to, be ha to happen. Uh, you can hear the nice sizzling in the pan, just drop in all the chicory. Oh, that's fantastic. And what we're doing is actually we're, we're melting it down. We're not baking it, we're not cooking it, we're melting it. So all the flavors stay in the, in the pan. Next we're gonna do, we're gonna make our uh, nice uh, creamy uh, cheese sauce. We haven't seasoned it yet because the cheese is always gonna bake, give it a little bit of salty touch to it. Just make sure that the sauce you're making, when you, before you put in the cheese, it's not too thick because the cheese is gonna create a thickness to it so we have another consistency. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create a little different taste. So last ingredient I'm putting in is curry powder. About, you know, about a tablespoon, I think. This is what we want. Nice, thick, creamy sauce, full of flavor. Love it.
back to the chopping board. We're gonna chop up the last chicories. Just chop them any way you want. You know, you can use the small bits, you can use the large bits. I put this with the cooked chicory. Hapa, there it goes. Just stir it, and then we're gonna need seasoning on this too. So we're gonna have a nice crunchy bite from the chicory. We have a nice soft bite in the chicory. We have a soft ham, we have a crunchy ham. We've got the cheese sauce. It's gonna be awesome. Oven tray, put in the chicory. Super. Take our nice Flanders ham, which you can find across Britain in every store you want, I think. And then we just put our sauce on it. There you go. A little bit more cheese just to create that baked top off. And this is going in the oven. Let's say 190 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes and the dish will be ready. Ah, that's how it should look like. It's a nice gratinated plate. The cheese has melted. We got our chopped eggs. We're just gonna put on top of it just for an extra ingredient. And then we've got the dry ham, dried ham, which we've got uh, nice and crispy in the oven. So we're gonna just tear apart, put it on top, which is gonna create an extra salty, crispy touch to the whole plate. And then, last, but certainly not least, we've got a beer. Taras Bulba. Why are we serving this one? Because we took a little bit of bitterness out of the chicory, but we still got the crispy bitterness from the fresh chicory. And this is a nice, very hoppy ale. So we got two times bitterness, which is gonna slide in together with the creamy cheese. You have to keep in mind when you're making something with cheese or with a lot of uh, uh, cream sauce in it, you need a nice, balanced, hoppy, bland ale. Because that one is gonna flush your mouth, it's gonna create a new room for a new palate. If we would use a dark beer with this, it would have too much caramel. It would just be sticky layer on sticky layer. So a nice, hoppy beer, not too much of alcohol because we have to rinse our mouth. That was booba, perfect.